It's my headband, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, that's my headband. Well, hello there, everybody. And if you're wondering, yes, I am sitting on a toilet because I know that you can see this empty toilet paper roll in the background, but this is the easiest place for me to get my liner on and take off my shrinker. So a shrinker is basically this thick, like, ah, sleeve. I'm supposed to wear it during the night. Um, it helps the swelling go down. It helps shape my new limb appropriately. This, on the other hand, is really thick. Um, this is like turned inside out. This is what's on the outside. It's what I'll actually be wearing all day, every day when I am actually wearing a prosthetic leg. So I'm supposed to start wearing this during the day to get used to it. It also helps the swelling and shaping of my limb as well. Let's get this off. Let's get this on. By the way, check it out guys. Like, it's finally starting to look okay. So we start by turning it inside out and kind of, oh, can't have anything on the inside here and just putting an indentation there so I can put my leg up against it. And this is still not comfortable at all, but hey, pain is part of the game. Slowly. Ow. <laughs> Rolling it up my limb. Man, my hair likes to stick to this. Make sure there's no wrinkles. And there we have it. So then I wear this the rest of the day. We get this back on, I think. So this is gonna sound weird, but I know that you guys have seen videos with me doing things in public. And I talked about how I have started feeling some anxiety about going out in public and kind of people's reactions, but you know, I'm working through it and it's honestly okay. But one thing I haven't talked about, which is bizarre to me that this is a thing that is like a sticking point for me is I was okay from day one, like being wheelchaired around out in public, maybe some mild discomfort, but walking outside my front door, not walking, crutching, outside my front door to put something in the mailbox or to like pick up a package or like say bye to someone leaving the house was like terrifying to me. The idea that my neighbors would see me without a leg and ask questions or, I don't know, just the idea of my neighbors coming up to me and asking questions and knowing that like I'm here disabled, uh, where previously they saw me walking around and living life and, and all of that. And I honestly can't explain to you why it's my neighbors that are like the sticking point for me and just being so scared of that. So I need to go put this in a mailbox. And instead of waiting for my dad to get here, he's bringing lunch today cause he's a sweetheart and asking him to put it in a mailbox for me. I'm gonna go do it myself and just kind of face the fear because what better way to get over something than to address it, right? That's what we do guys. So I'm gonna go bring this to the mailbox and tick or check or whatever the word is, another item off my list for the day and face this fear. I didn't die. Actually, it wasn't that terrifying. And I'll probably do it again sometime in the near future. <laughs> So I'd like to be a contributing member of society again. And by society, I mean my household. And one way I can do that is laundry. <sighs> but there is so much laundry, and I only have one leg. But that's not gonna stop me, guys. We're gonna find a way to do it. Um, this has been my wardrobe for the last seven weeks. So I don't have to make it up two flights of stairs. How am I gonna do this? I mean, I do have one hanger left for, oh, you know, like 20 pieces of clothing so that that could work. Or I could change my system. Or I could just transition my clothes upstairs and go upstairs every day to get dressed, but that sounds like not a lot of fun. Vital garments, down here, everything else goes.
my first day washing my liner, which we have over here, which smells horrendous after a day of being worn. Uh, apparently you need to wash it with ivory soap and water and nothing else, so I'm gonna try to do that. See if we can get it smelling a little more not disgusting and hang it up with one of these handy dandy hooks that my mom got me for it and see if that works. Ivory soap because totally unperfumed antibacterial because apparently that will eat at the liner. Ta-da! So we have a command hook on the wall, then a hanger, a one-sided hanger on the other side. Put the liner up to draw there. Oop, yep, never mind. I uh, just lost it, but uh, make sure the wall is clean behind it. No idea if this did if I did this right. I will find out tomorrow morning, but in any case, it's a first try. You have to make quesadilla this time. Do you want it real bad? It's right there. Luis, I'm retreated away from my quesadilla. Always watching. 